When writing Java applications, or any applications in general, sometimes you might run into errors or issues that you will want to debug. And with IBM's SDK Java Technology Edition, we provide you with a bunch of tools that you can use to debug your Java application. For more information about these tools, you should visit the IBM Knowledge Center. After using these tools to determine the cause of the issue, sometimes it might lead you to the JSON Batch Launcher or the JSON Toolkit. And you will want to get a better tracing of what is going on in these two components. And the JSON Batch Launcher and the JSON Toolkit do provide you with some configuration in terms of turning on tracing for these components. And there are different levels of trace available to you. Here, I'm opening the um, JSOS Batch Launcher and Toolkit User's Guide, which will be linked to in the URL in this page. The most um, fine level is the error level, which will only emit error messages. If you want a more general type of tracing, which encompasses all the things that JSOS does, whether it's in the batch launcher or the toolkit, then you want to set a level of um, T, which is trace, trace level messages. And this level it should be used when reporting any errors uh, with the launcher or with the toolkit to IBM because it encompasses all the tracing that is available within the JSOS components. Now here it says, um, here's a section for setting the JSOS batch launcher logging levels, but these levels do also apply to the JSOS toolkit. So I'm going to talk a little bit first about how to configure your Java application to print JSOS toolkit trace messages. Let's open up our Eclipse environment and let's build on top of what we've done in prior sessions with our insurance payee information Java application. So let's open up our JVM JCL, JCL um, file. And here we're calling the repay data Java application by passing in the um, payee payout information data set. Now we want to do uh, some tracing with the JSON toolkit so it tells us um, what JSON is doing with respect to I.O., how it opens the data set, how it reads the data set. Um, to do so, we're going to go into the stdenvdd, which basically is a script that set up the environment for the, your Java application. So on the very bottom, here is export IBM Java options. This is the invert that we're going to use, IBM Java Options, to um, configure JSOS so that it prints tracing information for the JSOS toolkit. So I'm going to edit this. Um, IJO stands for IBM Java Options. So I'm going to copy this line right here. And I'm going to put a new option for printing JSOS toolkit um, trace messages. And with this, I'm going to go back to our JSOS batch launcher and toolkit users guide and go to the um, envir JSOS environment variable section <clears throat> and scroll down to a table called Java SDK Options and System Properties. And here you go, you have um, JSOS.logging, which is a system property that we use to set the logging levels of the JSOS toolkit native APIs. And let me just copy this here. Going to use JSOS login equals to let's do T. 
What T does is that it will print out all the trace messages that's available in the JSOS toolkit native library. So it's most um, most trace that you can get. Whereas E will only print out error type type of traces. So let's do that. And IJO is exported with IBM Java options. Okay, so after I do this, let's run our Java program again. In this case, I'm going to go to remote systems, right click on my JCL and just click submit. And click notify, so it notifies me if the job is completed. Here, the job completed with completion code zero. And let's take a look at what the job is. Okay, it's job 560. Go to my JES, my jobs. Refresh and get 560 right here. And take a look at um, sys out. As you can see, there are some extra messages printed in sysout, and these are trace messages. Um, anything that ends with a T meaning, means that it's a trace message. Anything ends with a D means that it's a debug message. Basically, any type of messages that are, um, that are logging, either trace, debug, warning, notices, will all be printed out in um, sysout. Let's look for our open of the data set. And here we go. We're opening Java FT1 high risk data payee with a read of binary, type record, and a no seek option. And as you can see, the buffer length is 80. That is set to basically the record length, which is 80 for this data set. And here's some F writes, etc. Um, now the F writes are different for a different data set. That's for a standard output data set. So it's different from the data payee data set. For data payee data set, we're actually reading the data set. So we're calling F read with a record of um, record length of 80. All right, so here we have entire trace of the application. Next, let's talk about adding tracing and logging to the batch launcher instead of the JSOS toolkit. Let's remove our additional tracing for the toolkit and let's add tracing for our batch launcher. To add tracing for batch launcher, we just edit the same file, um, except that instead of editing the stdenv script, which sets up the environment for the Java application, we edit the parameters um, that we pass into the JVM PRC proc that starts the JSOS batch launcher. So here we're going to add a new parameter. And let's go back to our JSOS toolkit and batch launcher user's guide to see um, what are the parameter name. So the parameter name is log LVL. We're going to use that. And again, we're going to use T. So we're going to, have to put plus T to trace uh, the entire JSOS batch launcher. So any logging messages that's um, being logged within the JSOS batch launcher will be printed out to us when we start this application. Okay, now I saved it and let's run this application again. Let's go to the JVM JCL and click Submit. And let's notify me if it's complete. Here I have job 563 completed with completion code zero. So let's go to job 563.
refresh. Job 563. Let's take a look at the sysout output. All right. So here, instead of tracing and logging our JSOS toolkit, we're tracing and logging the JSOS batch launcher. So the very first message, as you can see, is log level has been set to T. And you can see a bunch of other things like the actual script that we're running to set up the environment, which should be familiar to you. We're exporting Java Home, exporting Path, customizing class Path, and all the other processing involved in starting the JSOS batch launcher. So there we go. We just went over setting uh, debugging levels for both the JSOS toolkit and the JSOS batch launcher.